right, John, let's test out this motorhome. This is the Heimer MLI 570, and I'm sure you're going to like this review because first it's a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, and second it's the 60th anniversary model from Heimer. I gotta admit that I have really limited experience driving motorhomes, and I understand that usually you guys have manual transmission, but this is an automatic, right? Yep, here in Russia, we really like manual transmissions. I think in Europe, they, they like manual transmissions even more than they do here. Yeah, where I'm from, 97% of new cars are sold uh, with an automatic transmission. We're definitely moving in that direction, but Europe still really loves the stick shift. Well, today it'll be easy for me. All right, we're ready, we got our seatbelts on. Let's go. So, things you should know about this motorhome. First, like I said, it is the anniversary edition. Second, it's a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. It's a new turbo diesel 2.2 engine. It's an automatic, it's a real automatic, not like uh, these robotized transmissions that have like a manual clutch and they jerk a lot. It's a, it's a regular automatic transmission, just like we're used to. The third thing is that this is a light edition. So it's really hard to get a Mercedes-Benz into the category B class so that anybody can just get in it and drive it with the regular license. So category B, it depends on the weight, right? What's the range? It's just like any small car, like a Jeep or a smart car. Gotcha. Usually Mercedes-Benz are really heavy. So in order to buy and drive a uh, Mercedes-Benz, usually you need a category C license like, uh, like a truck driver has. So basically you need a truck driver's license to drive a motorhome. But here they've done everything a little bit differently. So everything has basically been redesigned to make it lighter to fit into the three and a half ton category. For example, all the furniture is, is made out of special lighter material. It's durable, it's strong, uh, it's, it does everything that it needs to do, but it's a lot lighter to fit into that weight category. And an overall length of seven meters, which is really not a lot for an integrated motorhome. They managed to maintain a really big garage. And you don't really even need to worry about weight because the limit here is 450 kilograms. And you know, so two bicycles is really just like nothing. Yeah, they should fit in here, no problem. So you don't need to buy like some foldable mini bicycles. You can just take your own regular bicycles and head off on your next trip. Very convenient. The next thing you should know about this Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is that it comes with a pre-installed AdBlue system. This is a separate tank with a special chemical in it that is used to reduce emissions and put this vehicle in another emissions class. Uh, basically, it just minimizes the amount of nitrogen oxide that is emitted into the air. And this is really popular. It's in almost all new diesel-powered vehicles. And this is a diesel engine, right? Yeah, like almost all motorhomes, right? Yep, that's right. This motorhome is made for four people. Uh, there's no point in trying to fit any more than four people because there's only four sleeping berths. Four, four people, right? Yep, that's it. Uh, so we're sitting here and uh, there's two spots for people to sit in the back. We're in the living room here and it's really comfortable to sit here with up to four people. The front seats swivel back and then you have this L-shaped couch here as well. You can slide the table here in two different directions and set it up whatever way is comfortable for you. So you can sit here and chat with your loved ones or have a nice dinner. To drop down the bed here in the front, first you need to fold the front seats. And then in uh, one easy motion, you can drop down this bed. This sleeping area has its own lights and uh, on the edges there's this fabric that gives you some privacy and there are pockets to keep your things. And in the back of the motorhome we have our bedroom and you can either have a, two separate beds here or it can be set up to have one big bed. 
And the great thing about the bed in the back that is that it really doesn't interfere with your storage space at all. The garage is under it, and then there's also a wardrobe, a nice closet to keep your clothes, your footwear. And one of my favorite features of the motorhome is the bathroom. They call it a vario bathroom, which means that there's just this wall that you can swing out of the way to switch uh, from the sink and the toilet uh, to the shower. And here you have, of course, the sink, uh, bio toilet, and you can also um, set up a table here uh, if you want to do your makeup, for example. Here in the kitchen, you have a beautiful big fridge with a freezer. Lots of shelves here to store your food. Then we have sort of a standard uh, three element gas stovetop and a sink. This whole area here has its own lighting. Up above, there are two big cupboards to store all of your dishes and any uh, other food you may have. And down below, there are also three big drawers where uh, you can keep more dishes, of course, um, perhaps more food. And in the lowest uh, drawer, there's also uh, containers to separate your garbage. You can also expand your workspace here just by lifting up this extension to the countertop. It's nice that uh, Heimer included in this anniversary edition a satellite system that works in Russia too. You mean uh, like a GPS? No, 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 I, I mean uh, like the TV. In this model there's a 32 inch TV that works on Android. So you can use it to watch any video files you may have. Or you could also download apps and do whatever it is that you need to do. John, I'm going to open up the satellite dish now. Let's uh, see how it works. Cool. Yeah, so it is a European system, but uh, I should say that even when it's closed, it does pick up digital signals in Russia. So in any city, you got 35 or 40 channels that you can watch, no problem. So, how do you feel? I feel good. Uh, and it really seems like it's it's really quiet. I thought it'd be louder. Yeah, this uh, this vehicle is really quiet. I mean, it's it's really high quality. The furniture, the the different clasps and things that hold the drawers in, the joints, everything is made in such a way uh, that it really doesn't make a lot of noise. And you don't have this discomfort that sometimes you have with uh, an older, uh, cheaper motorhome where there's always something making noise. You know, you, you get in it and you start hearing all these noises. Like we say, it's like crickets. You have something chirping over here, something squeaking over here. So when you get in uh, Heimer, I mean, if, if you switch from uh, a cheaper, lower end motorhome into this, you know, mid-range, more upper range motorhome, uh, it's just completely quiet. You don't have to spend your time uh, trying to figure out where the sounds are coming from and uh, like taping things and putting little pillows or felt somewhere to try to get get the get rid of the the noises. So what else should we know about this motorhome, about this model specifically? You know, I've been riding around in this motorhome for most of today. And there's something I've noticed, that you just have a different view here. Uh, when you're in a regular Mercedes-Benz, I mean, you, you get used to it. It just seems normal, standard. But when you when you get into this kind of motorhome, this uh, an integrated motorhome is what you call it, I mean, you just have a really wide view. You don't have the, you know, the metal part of the frame around the window. that It, it, it doesn't get in your way. You can just see everything. And it has huge mirrors that you can regulate from the inside, and uh, they're also heated. And really, after like 10 minutes uh, in this vehicle, I understood why it is that people choose, you know, people that have a little bit more money, to buy a more high-end motorhome. 
It's just a completely different feeling. You don't have this feeling like you're driving a transfer truck, but you just have this real comfort and such a view. It's just a great, huge windshield. Another thing that's really important is how things are made, the details. So the walls and the roof, they, they have this foam that is, is different from, from other cheaper models of motorhomes, for example. And foam, you mean like uh, inside the walls, or Yeah, like for example, this wall right here has a thin layer of this special foam. And it insulates just like, for example, if you had a brick wall that's about half a meter thick. Wow. So that means it's good for the winter, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a, a vehicle that's good for any season, for the winter, for the summer. So you can go to Switzerland or France to a, a ski resort. And I mean, you probably are going to want to go to a campground so you can plug in uh, your, your electricity and water and not worry that your batteries are going to get drained. And down below here on the side, we have this compartment. Uh, and in here you can see your battery. And uh, there's a control panel here and you have all of your fuses you can easily get to. In the back here, we have a separate compartment for the propane tanks. Uh, it is heated, which is very good for the winter. And it's also really nice that there is access from the garage as well. So if, uh, if for example, this tank on the right is empty, I can take it right out and I don't have to take out the other one first. And up above the door here, there is a control panel where you can see the time and you can see the charge status of your batteries and also the level of your fresh water and your wastewater. One of the unique things about Heimer Motorhomes is that you have this display here in the front that shows you the charge of your batteries and your water levels. So if you're driving along the highway, you can see here really easily um, the status of everything in your vehicle. And just like on the control panel above the door there, uh, you can see all of that information. And here we can see the charge status of your house battery and your starter battery and the water levels of clean water and of wastewater. And you can control the heat here and this, uh, there's a digital panel. Um, so it's a gas heater, right? Yep, it's a gas heater and you could actually upgrade it a bit so that you could control it from your smartphone uh, through uh, the internet. So, you know, for example, if you're out skiing somewhere, you might think, uh, we're going to be back in about 20 minutes. You can send an SMS and uh, it'll turn on the boiler to start heating up the water and uh, it'll turn on the heat to actually start heating up the whole motor home before you get back. Thanks to the Dometic rear view camera system, you can see everything that's happening behind you as you're driving, just like a rear view mirror. And the motorhome also comes with this Alco trailer hitch. You can easily install it just like this. You just turn this and when this green indicator is visible, that means it's ready to hook up your trailer. And uh, this motorhome supports trailers weighing up to two tons. On this channel, we'll be going on different trips and we'll show you how everything works in action. So for example, you come to a campground and how do you set up all of your hookups? Um, how do you air out your motorhome in the winter or in the summer? And uh, we'll also talk about the uh, electrical systems we will talk about how to avoid problems and also about how to troubleshoot any problems that you might have as they arise. Yeah, that definitely sounds interesting. <laughs>